I study something very familiar and commonplace. I study clothes, which you all are wearing, right? Don't worry, I don't study your clothes. I study old historic clothes, like the kind you'd find in museums. Let me ask you a question. Can you imagine wearing a garment that is 650 years old? How would it feel? In my research, I am studying this garment, the doublet of Charles de Blois. It's from the 14th century. It is extremely rare and in very good condition. It is made with 99% pure gold thread and has a million other interesting things about it. For example, though it looks tight and a little bit curvaceous, it is in fact a man's garment. My dad has been asking me a particular question for years. Caitlin, where are you gonna get a job? Well, dad, it turns out I have two careers. I work in museums with collections of historic dress, and I work in theater, patterning and constructing costumes. I am unique in that I bring a maker's perspective to the study of historic dress. There are things you can only know about an object by having made it. So I'm going to be remaking this garment, and no, it won't have gold in it this time because funding. And now I'm going to try and sell you on my crazy idea. There are things you can only know about a garment by having worn it. People talk about how uncomfortable and restrictive historic dress was, but is that true? The only way to know is by actually wearing it. So I'm going to have a man wear my garment and tell me how it feels. But why this garment? You all have probably had experiences with restrictive or just plain uncomfortable clothing. For example, has anyone ever had a problem like this? With a jacket? The shoulder area on my garment is very different from clothing today. One example, its armhole seam is cut right here, whereas typically today it is cut right here. Why? Remaking and wearing this garment has the potential to inform our understanding of both 14th century and modern day dress. More importantly, my research has the potential to reveal what is normally lost to us forever. The bodily experiences of people who lived 650 years ago. How they may have moved, run, jumped, stood, lived. Clothing comes alive on the body, and it is this embodied aspect of my research that has the potential to add a whole new dimension to our understanding of history. Thank you.